Lucy Allen. Five, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, Telford has more than a million passengers each year. I was pleased to negotiate services with Virgin Trains in 2014 from Shrewsbury to London via Telford and Birmingham. We are currently running a public consultation to help specify the next West Midlands franchise and will launch a public consultation on the new West Coast franchise in June. I encourage my honourable friend and her constituents to make her, their views known during that process. You see, Alan. I thank the Minister for his reply, and I know that my constituents will be very grateful for that. Um, Telford is a rapidly growing new town, and it is 26 miles from Birmingham, and yet it takes 51 minutes to get there. Will the Minister continue to work with me to ensure we have a 21st century rail system for Telford? I most certainly will. I think uh, one of the things that uh, I certainly uh, recognise uh, is the growing importance of uh, connect connectivity between cities and uh, the point that my humble friend makes about uh, Telford and the relationship with Birmingham is very, very important indeed. Mr Rob Maris. The Secretary of State knows Wolverhampton well because of his youth and because he fought a parliamentary seat there. He will know that trains from Telford to Wolverhampton to Birmingham to London are far slower than trains from Stafford to London because of the bottleneck through the urban West Midlands. When will the government get round to quad tracking the Coventry to Stafford corridor? Yeah, yeah. Well, Mr. Speaker, what I will say to the Honourable Member is absolutely right. I do uh, know the area incredibly uh, uh, well, but I would also point out the fact that uh, we have seen major investment in the West Midlands. Uh, the new service that I've just referred to to my Honourable Friend, which is re establishing of service for the first time from Shrewsbury via Telford, was very, very welcomed. Uh, but he's right. There are always demands for extra investment, and that has to be measured with the record investment we're putting into our railways. 